Today, I'm going to talk about how karma is payback to the narcissist. Hi, I'm Nanette. Welcome back to Narcissism Exposed. So I'm going to start with the definition of karma. Most of us have heard that word, but do we really know what it means? So technically, karma, the word karma, is a Sanskrit word, and it roughly means action. And karma is a core concept for a lot of the Eastern religions, including Hinduism and Buddhism. And what it means is that karma is a sense of cause and effect, cause and effect. And so the actions that somebody takes today will have an effect or impact on their future. And that not only includes their actions, but it includes their words and their thoughts. So with the word karma, like causes like effects. So the good deeds that you do today will cause a beneficial effect on you down the road. And likewise, the bad deeds that you do today will cause a harmful effect on you down the road. So you see where I'm going with this regarding the narcissist, right? Now, I'm going to take a look at this idea of like causes, like effects through a biblical perspective. And I want to, want to note that any verses that I share today are going to be listed in a timestamp down below. So you'll never miss one of the verses I share. You can just go back at the end of the video and take a look at the timestamp. So the actual word karma doesn't even exist in the Bible. You'll never find that exact word, but you will find verses of scripture that talk about basically what you're involved in, what you give out, it's what's going to come back to you. So we're going to start by taking a look at Psalm chapter 28 verses 3 and 4. And it says, do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, who speak cordially with their neighbors, right? But harbor malice in their hearts. Sound like anybody you know? Repay them for their deeds and for their evil work. Repay them for what their hands have done and bring back on them what they deserve. You know, in life, we can take a look at the narcissist and say, wow, you know what? They're so evil and they've done so many, so many harmful things to me. They've caused so much pain, so much suffering. How come they're not paying for their evil deeds? Well, believe me, they either are or will be. And I just want to say this. It is not, I know that <clears throat> after dealing with the harmful, hideous effects of being with a narcissist, um, you have feelings of anger and revenge, possibly. Some of us do. And you know what? Leave the revenge and the judgment to God. It says in Romans chapter 12, verse 19, that vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. So we'll leave all that to God and His mighty wisdom and his understanding and we're going to trust in the Lord and we're going to live by the word of God and be that that empath that good person that Christian and we're going to know that the things that all the good things you've done while you were with the narcissist I want to tell you that your time wasn't wasted. I know a lot of people think, well, I, I wasted years with that narcissist, years I can never get back. But let me tell you this, if you were doing what you were doing with the narcissist out of the goodness of your heart, and you really tried to work with that narcissist and really help him or her, you are getting spiritual rewards from our Heavenly Father for all eternity. Imagine that. So your time was not a waste. A waste with the, the as far as your interactions and relationship with the narcissist, I get that. We all want a flourishing, healthy relationship, but look at this spiritually. Spiritually, you 
are getting back the good that you did. That, that's right. So it, it, you will have that for all eternity and God is blessing you right now. He is working a good work in you. He is working that peace back in your heart. You just need to trust him. Now, here's some more verses that are so awesome. In the book of Job, which is in the Old Testament, chapter 4, verse 8, it says, As I have observed those who plow evil and those who sow trouble, reap it. You see that? That, that if, you, if you plow evil, you're going to reap evil. That's just the way it is. And that's from God's word. So if you doubt at all that the narcissist is not suffering for his and her deeds, they are. But don't let that be your concern anymore. Again, that's in God's hands. So back to the next verse. It's in James chapter 3, verse 18. And it says, Peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. That's you. That's me. We're the peacemakers. We want good to prevail. We want to walk out path of truth and righteousness. And we want to do those good works. We want to, to walk on the precepts of God's word. And we're not going to let anyone or anything stop us from doing that. We're not going to be pulled into that, that wormhole that the narcissist wants to pull us off of our true path and our destiny. So no longer are you entangled and entrapped in that whole mess. So we're seeing from God's word that, you know what? All the things that the narcissist has done is going to go come back to them. It's payback time, and not because you wish it on them. No, we're not going to be like them and wish bad on people and seek to destroy people. And I know I hear a lot of channels, um, their titles are, This Will Destroy the Narcissist. I don't want to destroy anybody. Uh, my true nat nature is a God in Christ nature. I'm God's child and I want everybody to see that. I want my life to be a living testimony of the God in Christ in me and his goodness that he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him, Jesus Christ, shall have everlasting life. I want my life to be a testimony to that. No matter what has happened to me in the past, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to let that change my true self and who I am. And you're not either because you're getting into God's word and you're taking these scriptures and you're putting them on in your heart and in your mind and you're reminding yourself of them every day. And here's another one in Psalm chapter 7 verse 16. It says, the trouble they make for others backfires on them. The violence they plan falls on their own heads. That is so incredible. I mean, this is what the narcissist is in. They're in the midst of evil and little do they really know or understand because they're so blinded by devilish forces that everything that they're doing is going to fall back on their heads. It's going to fall back onto them. It's going to backfire. And that's straight from God's word. And here's another great set of scriptures. And this is in Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 through 9. It says, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. No one's going to mock God. No, no one. God sees what's going on. And his word ensures that justice will prevail. You don't have to do anything but follow the scriptures and believe the word of God and trust God. So it says, be not deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows and you have sown good and you are going to get good in your life. You are going to get good back to your life. Just keep your arms wide open and see how much God's going to fill your arms with blessings. Fill your life with blessings. Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from that sinful nature. 
but those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting life from the Spirit. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. Don't get tired what's doing good, people. I've been there. I have felt the exhaustion, the frustration. Don't be tired. I'm encouraging you, my brothers and sisters. Take strength in the Lord. Put these scriptures on in your heart and mind. Stay true to yourself. Stay, stay true to your true nature, which is God and Christ in you. You're a child of God. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. So don't give up. Take strength in the Lord. All that stuff that the narcissist did, they're in such a bad place. You have to understand that. And the, the payback is their own evil is going to come back to them. And, you know, this time of COVID is affecting so many people um, with jobs, finances, uh, just even uh, being uplifted in their spirit. People are having a hard time with that. Depression is prevalent. You know what? We can take courage in God's word and we can let God's word uplift us and we're doing it. But the narcissist who doesn't trust in the Lord doesn't want to know the Lord, turns his or her back on the Lord, they are in such a hole. A lot of them have lost their jobs. A lot of them are sleeping on friends or family members' couches. I know a few already that, that this is what has happened to them, and it's already coming back to them, this payback. And here's another great verse actually several verses and it's in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verses 9 and 10 and it says therefore we make it our aim whether present or absent to be well pleasing to him him who God Almighty our Heavenly Father to be well pleasing to him if we were to exact revenge or payback on the narcissist that wouldn't be well pleasing to our Father. So we, again, want to be true to ourselves, who we truly are spiritually. And it says, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. Can you imagine that day when God sends his only begotten son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, back to gather us together, and then we are standing at that judgment seat and receive rewards for uh, the things we have done, good or bad. Can you imagine what that's going to be like for the narcissist? I just, uh, I have no words, but I do have words for you. Your rewards are going to be plentiful and you are going to reap that harvest at that time and just stay true to yourself. Let the word of God encourage you and strengthen you and know that you know i don't want you thinking about it just just know that god the vengeance is god it's his seth god and payback well you know the narcissist is is just wrapped in evil and that's what's coming back to them and and don't please keep detached don't look at social media don't see the fake smiles don't see all the fake baloney that's going out there Keep yourself like with spiritual blinders, right? And you are just not going to even uh, think about the narcissist unless you want to pray for them when you think about it. Um, that's great for your healing. That's great for your life and blessings that you'll receive. And just move forward. Stay focused on your destiny, your path, your truth, your journey with God Almighty and His mighty word. So... Leave comments in the comment section down below. Uh, just tell me what scriptures are blessing you. Tell me about your victories. Tell me about your prayer requests. Um, this is a praying community, so let us know what you want us to pray for. You can even leave your prayer requests in the discussion section of this channel. And again, every scripture that I've mentioned will be listed down below in a timestamp. So if you found this video helpful, do hit the like button and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. And until next time, 
Stay blessed in your heart and walk in peace.